Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I am your host, Alex Withrow. Today we're going to talk about what I would fix around about get around at this point and where they are right now. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. Also, give this channel a subscribe. We're constantly talking about things that pertain to the car share space, whether it be get around Turo, hire car, or even uh, different you know things going on in the industry. So, that said, if I could fix anything about get around at this point, now let me give this a little caveat. Two years ago, if you'd asked me this question, this list would be way longer than it is now. So, first, let's just talk about how much better the claims process has gotten at get around over the last two years it is so much better i remember um you know filing claims two years ago with get around and getting denied left and right over the stupidest things and it drove me crazy and i was like forget these guys they're awful so it has gotten so much better their claims process has you know gone from, I think, about 70 days to resolve a claim down to seven, and it's probably even dropped even more since then. So congrats to get around on, on just improving that. There's a lot of other great things that they've improved, but if there were two things that I could fix about get around today, this is what they would be. First of all, the number one problem with get around, I think, and I think they know this, is that that connect system on the car drains the battery fairly quickly. Um, they need to figure out a workaround for this. Now, if you have a car on get around, what I would recommend is going down to AutoZone. Now, keep, keep in mind, before I say this, um, if your car is rented pretty regularly, this won't be an issue because the car battery is getting recharged. But if your car is getting rented maybe only half the time, you're probably gonna struggle with this. So in that said, so the get around system can it sucks the battery faster than you know other gps uh, tracking systems so that said i hope they figure out a way to fix this i don't know if they can or will but um you know that's I, i've heard that's been the big complaint about the get around uh, connect system um that said there's an easy fix to this if that is a problem for you um, it's been a little bit of a problem for me in the past like i said if your car is out rented pretty regularly it's not a big deal but if it uh, is only being utilized maybe half the time, you're gonna struggle with that a little more. Uh, but if that's the case, you should move it into a better zip code, honestly. So all that to say, um, you know, uh, what I would do if, that's, if you're struggling with that problem at all, go down to AutoZone, you can pick up a battery restart charge pack, um, leave it in the trunk. If, if somebody picks up a car or rents your car and, it, and the battery dies at any point, um, you could just hook up the, ch the charger to the battery, restart it, and it should work. Um, obviously, if, if the battery is totally dead, you're going to have to you know, replace the battery. So that is one thing that I think that Get Around at this point in time needs to address. Another thing that I think it would be good for Get Around to do is this. So you know, what's nice about Get Around is that... Renters can pop in and out of the car all the time, and uh, you're just collecting cash, right? So that car sits there. It's not like Turo. Turo, you gotta give it a good proper washing before each, you know, turnaround. Um, and, you know, that said, I, what I would say is that it's it's the kind of thing where, um, you know, with get around, the clientele's not as fussy. You can really do, you know, rattle off two or three rentals in a week. Um, you know, and people are just letting themselves in and out of the car. So the great thing about that is that you're making money and the car just keeps getting rented, 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 which is awesome. The problem with it is that it's very hard to give the car a good inspection on if it's dirty or not before the next renter, right? So everyone that deals with Get Around has, has struggled with this. Now, personally, what I normally do is, you know, I usually schedule off maybe an hour each week for myself to personally uh, check the car or I'll have, you know, I'll hire somebody from TaskRabbit to do it, to clean it. Um, so that is one way of dealing with it. But what I think Get Around could do to fix this and to, to really help um, with this problem is that the renters need to give not only an external picture, which they already do, of the condition of the car, but they should do internal as well. And I think that, and I know they do, but 
um, I think they need to be held accountable for any trash that they leave in the car. So if they, on the return side of the vehicle, when they take pictures of the interior of the return, if there's a lot of trash in the car, they need to be penalized as renters um, on, the, on the platform, because I don't believe they are right now. So um, I think that that's not to absolve the responsibility from the host. I do think the host needs to check in on the car a good once or twice a week. But I think it would also help if uh, the renters were held accountable as well to that. Um, so, you know, I think that would be um, a good way to really, because the, the faster people can get in and out of that car, and if everyone's, you know, taking responsibility to clean up after each one, and, and the host is also giving it, you know, a good um, spot check once a week and, and wiping it down the car, I think then... Um, the revenue machine is going to spin even faster on behalf of get around. And I think that that would help them a lot. So if they could, you know, if there was a way for them to, when they, when renters take pictures of the, uh, the car on the internal, if they were held accountable for any trash left in the car, um, I think that would be a positive development. So those are my two things that I think that get around needs to work on are, um, you know, the connect system and also, um, you know, how, do, how do we uh, deal with the trash in the car issue? So all that to say, before I go click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.